Recent findings show the average monthly wage of workers in South Korea rose slightly in 2021, but the growth was mostly driven by salary increases seen in large conglomerates. Meanwhile, the wage gap between male and female employees remained evident. Our Yi Soo-jin tells us more. Average monthly wages have been rising in South Korea, but the income gap between workers at large companies and small and medium-sized enterprises has gotten wider. Data from Statistics Korea show that in 2021, the average monthly wage of office workers at companies of all sizes rose to 3.33 million won, up 4.1 percent from the year before. At the average rate that year, that's about 2,900 U.S. dollars. The average for workers at large conglomerates was 5.63 million won, up 6.6 percent. For employees at SMEs, however, it was 2.66 million, a rise of only 2.9 percent. Wage growth was the highest on record at large conglomerates and the lowest on record at SMEs. It's also the first time on record that the rate of income growth at large conglomerates was higher than at SMEs. By industry, the highest average income was in the financial sector at almost 7.26 million won. At the average rate that year, that's about $6,400. The lowest average income was in the hospitality sector, such as lodging and restaurants, at $1.62 million. There also remained a substantial wage gap between men and women. Men made on average 1.5 times that earned by women. Men made nearly 3.8 million won a month, up 4.7 percent from a year earlier, while women made 2.56 million and saw a gain of 3.7 percent. The gender wage gap is widely expected to continue. There are a lot of instances where women leave the workforce, so it's not only important for women to get employed in the first place, but to continue working. The expert added that in order for the gender wage gap to close, companies need to focus on keeping women in the workforce. Isujin, Arirang News.